Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 37. So yesterday we were working on adding offers to a buyer opportunity. Today we're gonna flip the script and we're actually going to do offers for a listing opportunity. So we're gonna choose the opportunity submenu or applet here, sixth one down. We're gonna dive into one of our listing opportunities here and I'm gonna show you the difference. So first thing, I wanna make sure that this listing opportunity has been tied to an actual listing from the MLS. So I can come up to the top here and click on select from listings and then I can choose one of my listings. And then you see it's gonna tie that information here and also tie in the property information here as well. So now it's time to put in some offers. So let's click on offers and let's say that we have received two offers on the property. So I'm gonna click on add new offer and I would always put probably the name of the uh, buyers and maybe the name of the agent. So this is Bonnie Buyer, uh, Annie Agent and we'll create that offer and the offer date was today let's say they want to close on the 28th we'll go through the parties the buyer name again is bonnie buyer i can come down to associate name and the agent you'll see on the right hand side the seller information is being pulled in from the contact so there's my information here and the seller's information here Next, I can go into the terms. So this is 350. Let's say it's the same thing as yesterday, a full price offer with 20% down. That would mean that they're financing 280, 1% earnest money, 250 on option fee, 10 days, uh, 600 for a home warranty and no settlement costs. So I could go in and click on agent analysis and here are pros, cons, and summaries. So pros, I could put full list, 30 day close be real careful about using the cons obviously you know getting the offer is a good thing so we don't necessarily always want to put too many super negative things in here um, sometimes you can just use summary for let them make the decision um, i don't necessarily consider an fha loan a con but some may right you never know so i could just put uh, financing is uh, fha with a 25 day third party financing period um, also and right because there are a few things that we don't put in the offer uh, summary in here but i could put in the actual summary uh, on the details portion also they're asking for fridge washer and dryer so i could put that information in and then click on save and now i have this offer entered in now let's go ahead and put in a new offer. So let's click on add new offer. And let's say this is Billy Buyer and Aaron Agent. And we're gonna create this offer. Um, let's say this one can actually close quick. They're actually closing with cash. They can do a three week close. So they're gonna close on the 21st. And this is Billy Buyer, again, Aaron Agent. We put in the terms. Um, they're going to do 340 and yet it's all cash. So they'll put down 1%, the option fee, uh, let's do 250 for seven days. And they do want a residential contract, no settlement costs. So I could come in and do agent analysis, pros, all cash, no concerns on appraisal. And then cons, I mean, I don't know, 10K less than list, right? That's pretty obvious and yeah, I'll go ahead and put that in. Um, and also uh, three week close. <clears throat> uh, summary strong offer. They are not asking for non realty items and save. So now I have the two offers. So that was how quick and easy I can put the offers into the KW command platform. Now it comes time, right? Many of us have had multiple buyer, uh, multiple offer situations and it comes time to compare those. So I'm actually gonna choose select all to compare these two. Now, if I had gone in and put three, four, five, and there was clearly two or three that were the cream of the crop, I could just choose specifically which ones I wanted to compare, or I could compare all of them. And then if the buyer said, well, or seller said, we only wanna see the top two, then I could go back in and make a comparison for just the top two. Now I can come over and click on compare offers. And so then you can see here's this information all listed out here. 
And I also have the ability to download this comparison to be able to present to my client. So I can download this, I can save it, and then I can email this off and make a quick call and just say, hey, uh, you know, talk to them about the offers. Now, just know that sometimes with the, <clears throat> the formatting of the summary columns and the pros and cons, when you go over one line, it does kind of wrap over by character and not by word. Um, but hopefully the gist still gets across. So that is essentially how you can put in offers on a listing opportunity and then compare the two by putting in both offers. Now I could have two, three, four, five offers right on this screen that I was comparing and then download that comparison. I will say I've had some issues with the email offer button that's been submitted to um, the labs team. I know they're working on that. So hopefully those will be addressed soon. But for right now, just go ahead and download it and then email it directly to your clients. That's it for today, guys. Happy Friday. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day with big plans for the weekend. And as always, I will look forward to talking to you again real soon.